Hey guys, it's John, and I am back. Um, so after your, your wonderful comments on my other video yesterday, and after much soul searching and, and diving into my, my, my work, my basic plan, I believe right now, you guys tell me whether you think this is a good one or not. Um, I have gone ahead and, and put a donate button on my YouTube channel and a link in the description under each of the videos. Um, that way I figure if someone did find value and they want to donate, then, it, then that's up to them. And if they, you know, and if they found value and they can't donate, then great that they, they don't have to pay. You know, it's, it's, there's not, there's not a, there's not a, um, obligation in, a, in any way, shape or form. Uh, then also I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing the prints of, uh, Jeshua's painting and uh, the Jeshua painting. And then, um, I am probably going to do some hat shirts and, and, and stickers of some kind. Um, because, uh, then if they're, if they're buying them, they're getting something back in their hands and, you know, the little bit of profit I get off each one would, would be definitely very helpful. And then, I, 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 my question to you guys is, I had someone say that they felt that Patreon was very, um, I, I guess commercial is, is the, it's not the word they use, but, um, but, um, so I'm thinking that possibly doing the Patreon thing, um, until we're monetized and doing a live stream in Patreon and then putting that video on the channel for anybody who wasn't able to do, be there live to see the, the content that we create. So that's the basic plan so far. So just so you know, and, and just to be completely transparent, you're gonna find a donate button on my website, on my YouTube channel, and in a link in each of the descriptions. And so if someone wants to donate, they, they certainly can. And um, very much appreciated. Very much appreciated. Uh, my, I've also been asked about my corporate work. You know, can I continue to do my corporate work? Uh, my corporate work is is still active in that someone can hire me to do that. COVID nineteen wiped out the speaking industry. Um, COVID nineteen when it when it hit, half the speakers went away and all the work went away. Uh, now I was very fortunate. I was because one of the reasons I have. A fairly nice looking video here is because of the fact that I, I built a studio to for virtual pro, programs and I did a total of a total of uh, four of them in the past two, two years year and a half um, and uh, as far as live events I've only done a couple in the past couple of years so um, I still have my website up and if you're really curious to see what my corporate stuff looks like you can go to corporateactionhero.com that's uh, my crazy corporate stuff that I did um, because I was a, a motivational speaker. Um, but this video, my friends, is a, is a question that I, I, that I have been asked before. And uh, it was asked uh, in one of the comments. And I think, it's, I think it's one to go ahead and address. And I think you guys will probably know what I'm about to say when I, when I tell you what the question is. The question was, is do you pray to Jesus? And the answer is no. Uh, that would be completely antithetical to what he was teaching. Everything that, that Jeshua talked about was, was what I would call stepping into your Christ itself. Now, Christ, you know, I'm not 100% sure of the actual, what the actual definition of Christ is. And while we're talking, I'll, I'll actually punch it up here on my computer to see if I can find the definition of Christ. But um, did, uh, what, here, what does the word Christ really mean? Christ comes from the Greek word meaning anointed one. So it wasn't his last name, <laughs> right? It was, it was Christ the anointed one. Now, Think about think about that for a second. What what Jeshua was teaching was that you're all the anointed one, and he wanted you to step into the Christ itself, the anointed self. He wanted you to step into that that power and realize that you are the creator of your experience. You're the one who gets to surround yourself with joy and love and, and positivity. Um, to pray to him would be taking power away from yourself and giving it to him. It would it would be it would be like they say. 
to, for the Catholic Church to create a saint, somebody has to pray to the saint and have a healing, right? There has to be measurable results that they prayed to that saint and they were healed. To me, what's fascinating about that, especially knowing what Jeshua taught, is absolutely they can pray to somebody and be healed. But until they realize it's not the person or the thing, person they're praying to that healed them, it was their belief that the person they were praying to would heal them. It was their belief that did it. Um, and so when, when the concept of praying to Jesus... Um, to me, to me, it would, it would Jesus would be very frustrated by the, the, the even thought that somebody would think it because it it's not what he taught. And um, the greater works than I have done, you will do. It is your faith that heals you. I said that all the time. Uh, he washed the disciples' feet. It says it in the Bible. I don't remember that moment. I would have liked a good foot washing, but <laughs> um, but it's one of the memories I just don't have. Um, Says he says he washed his disciples' feet. Well, why would why would you wash your disciples' feet to prove that you were no better than them? To prove that you were no better than them. You were the same, or 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 um, or you know you're the same. You're just level. There's no hierarchy, up or down. You know, no one is better than you. Greater works than I have done, you will do. Um, so, if you think about the idea of praying to anybody. Now, the next part of this, of course, is what is prayer? What is prayer? Now, in, in lots of uh, traditions, Christian traditions especially, um, prayer is you know, asking God, Jesus, some saint for something and then you know, waiting for a response, so waiting, waiting to receive after, after saying amen, meaning it's done. That's what amen means. So be it. It is done right here, right now. And when I look at prayer, and the defi- well, what should be the definition of prayer is, f- is um, concentrated focus. It's, it's, it's really staying focused on one very specific thing that you want with the belief that you're receiving it. That's all prayer really is. That's all prayer really is. Focus. Are you focused in believing it? Because it's the belief that brings it to you. You have to come to that full faith and belief. Problem is most people can't get out of their way because they're not living in the I am moment. Most people live in the I was moment, and some people live in the I will be moment. They're so worried about what's going to happen tomorrow, they, they, they forget about today. Or they're so enthralled with uh, other people are going to think or the or the lack in their life because of things that happened in the past either to them or the people who taught them that it could have happened it actually like for instance a, uh, somebody whose parents lived through the depression their parents probably had a lack of mentality because they grew up in a lack of mentality which gets passed down to the next person as a lack of mentality um, so what I would say is, when you go to pray, this is, this is basically, well, let me just put it to this. This is exactly how I pray. Thank you, God, for the blank, whatever I want. I am receiving. Amen. Because if you think about that, the way, that way of prayer, thank you for the blank I am receiving. Amen. Thank you. You start with gratitude, which means you, you don't ever thank for something until you have it, right? So, you know, it's like, give me a, give me a drink, and they hand you a drink, and, and th- thank you, because you have it in your hand. So start with gratitude. Start with thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. You know, and I say God, you can say whatever you want to use for God. Uh, yada, yada, universe, consciousness, you know, whatever, whatever, you're, whatever you want to use. But realize it's that one energy that surrounds and us all and permeates everything. And so thank you, God, for the the thing I'm asking for, blank, whatever I want that, that in that in that space. For the happy life, for the loving relationship, for the thin body, you know, for <laughs> for the abundance. You know, 
you don't want to say thank you God for um, making me debt free because what does God what does God give you what you focus on but God doesn't think in positives or negatives God thinks in focus what are you focused on you're focused on, on lack if you're thinking about the debt you're in. You're focused on debt, right? Focus on, po- you know, J- Bob Proctor said in The Secret, he said, you know, don't focus on debt, focus on abundance. You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and get back to it, right? Um, he said put an automatic payment thing in place and, and, go, and go back to focusing on prosperity. Well, guess what? Sometimes you're not able to do an automatic payment thing. However, you can focus on prosperity to get the money to pay it. But thank you, God, for the prosperity I am receiving. Now, why do I say I am receiving? I say I am receiving because of the fact that... (laughs) Because of the fact that... um, Imagine this. Here's, 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 for the metaphysical folks, this is going to be controversial. I don't believe in affirmations. <laughs> and why don't I believe in affirmations? Because I'm a very present moment person. I live in the I am moment, the amen moment. I am amen, right? I am amen. And to live in this moment, you, and you're affirming means you're actually thinking something needs to be shored up. Because that's what affirmation means. To affirm something means it's something that's not stable that you have to put braces on and support it. I don't use affirmations ever. You know what I use? I use declarations. And in the words of Yoda, "Mm, do or do not, there is no try, right? You're doing. You're not, you know, going to, going to, I'm, I'm going to keep propping myself up until I do it. No, that's not the way that works. I declare, I am blank, receiving. The word receiving is great because if you're if you're a very large man and you can't see your shoes, it's really hard to to think and believe that you have a thin body or are a thin man. And many affirmations say that that giant person is supposed to say, "I am a thin man." No, you're not. You can't look. You can't. You can't. You can't wrap your belief around it. And belief is what creates focus and belief. That's it. Focus and belief. Right. So. Focus positive and believe you're going to get it. And believe you're getting it. Believe you're receiving it. That's why the word receiving, I am receiving. Because that, that big man who can't see his shoes can look down and say, I am receiving a healthy body. I am eating healthy foods. I am walking an extra mile today. I am, I am, I am. And creating and saying things about his present moment that he can believe. He can put faith in. And it's your faith that heals you, right? So thank you, God, for the healthy body I am receiving amen so be it it's done that's what amen means so be it right here right now so that entire statement begins with thanking in the present moment declaring in the present moment and and then ending with it with this you know it's done with a close off it we're done we're, we're done so that is how I pray thank you God for the blank I am receiving thank you God for the <laughs> for the root beer I am receiving. And then what happens is I receive. See, you saw it, right? <laughs> um, I, I have had so many miraculous things in my life that have happened by using these, these prayers. And um, I think that you will, you'll find, I'll tell you a, a funny one and a, almost an inappropriate one, <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I think we're all adults in the room and I can share this one. Uh, <laughs> um, I, uh, many years ago, I was, I was about 10, 15 years ago, I was in a financial crunch, and I actually, and I was already, of course, praying this way, and I said, <clears throat> thank you, God, for the unexpected income I am receiving, and I, <laughs> I walked out my front door, and in the middle of the sidewalk was an envelope not in the mailbox, which was up on my door. In the middle of the sidewalk was an envelope. And I picked it up, and it was addressed to me. And I'm looking at it. And then I looked at where it was coming from, and I realized it came from the clinic 
here's where we get a little bit, <laughs> a little bit <laughs> blue, maybe. Well, blue is an interesting word, but that's what I'm about to say. It was a clinic where I had my vasectomy done. <laughs> and I opened it up, and the note said, we overcharged you for your procedure, and they refunded over $400 back to me that day. Now, let me, let me look at something interesting here. They said they overcharged me, and they refunded it back to me. I know that I paid cash for the procedure, and I paid $600. So I ended up getting two, a $200 vasectomy. Right? I've often wondered whether they're going to figure out their clerical error and try to repossess. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, but the idea was I asked, but here's the next part of that. I didn't have to know how, because it does not say, ask and you shall receive if you can figure out how. How is not your job. Declare it, know it's happening, and then it happens. That's, that's how it works. That's prayer, right? But, and, but never go, you know, th- thank you, Jesus, for, because all you're doing is just slowing your creation down. You can be- believe that Jesus will give it, will give it to you and you'll get it because your belief got it, but... You're slowing your whole process down, and you're not empowering yourself, which was what Jeshua wanted. So that's my thought on praying to Jesus, and I, and I hope my vasectomy story and the word blue at the same time was, uh, <laughs> was funny. Um, anyway, you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.